Okay, so these are the scriptures for the message that I received from Jesus, um, from the Lord, by his spirit. Um, please seek Jesus about it in prayer. Um, John 1 16 out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given Philippians 4 7 through 9 and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the god of peace peace shall be with you habakkuk 1 4 therefore the law is slacked and judgment does never go forth for the wicked do compass about the righteous therefore wrong judgment proceeds jeremiah 9 12 through 14 who is wise enough to understand this who has been instructed by the lord and can explain it why has the land been ruined and laid waste like a desert that no one can cross the Lord said, It is because they have forsaken my law which I set before them. They have not obeyed me or followed my law. Instead, they have followed the stubbornness of their hearts. They have followed the balls and as their ancestors taught them. Genesis 1, um, sorry, Genesis 1, 1 through 6. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Deuteronomy 6.16 6, You shall not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in Massah. Exodus chapter 9, 14-17 For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thy earth, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in the ver er, in very deed for this cause have I raised you up, for to show in you my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet exalted thou thyself against my people, that you will not let them go. Isaiah fourteen seven through 10 the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since you are laid down, no feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for, for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirs up the dead for, for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations all they shall speak and say unto thee are you also become weak as we are you become like unto us wow joel 1 3 through 8 tell your children of it and let your children tell their children and their children another generation that which that which the palmer worm palmer worm has left has the locust eaten and that which the locust has left has the canker worm eaten and that which the canker worm has left has the caterpillar eaten awake you drunkards and weep and howl all you drinkers of wine because of the new wine for it is cut off from your mouth wow i feel like that's a rapture reference because we'll be given our new wine skins and the voice of the bridegroom will no longer be heard in the bride for a nation is come up, up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he has the cheek teeth of a great lion. He has laid my vine waste and barked my fig tree. He has made it clean, bare, and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. 
lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth wow that's like the five unwise virgins just came to me wow luke 12 and um it's one through six in the meantime when there there were gathered together an innumerable multi multitude of people in so much that they trod one upon another he began to say unto his disciples first of all beware you of the leaven of the pharisees which is hypocrisy for there is nothing hidden that shall not be revealed coveted neither hid that shall not be known Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which you have spoken in the ear in, clo in closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and that have no more than they... Uh, why is that those arrows? Okay, I got a better uh, screenshot. Do not be afraid, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he has killed has power to cast into hell. I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? He also, um, at the same time, he also right after gave me Luke, um, 19 through 21 and i will say to my soul soul thou has much goods laid up for many years take thine ease eat drink and be merry but god said unto him you fool this night thy soul shall be required of thee then whose shall those things be which you have provided so is he that lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward god wow Mark nine eleven through 15. And they asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Elijah, oh, Elijah must come first, first come? And he answered and told them, Elijah verily comes first and restores all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things and be set at naught. But I say unto you that Elijah is indeed come, and they have done they have done unto him whatsoever they listed as it is written of him and when he came to his disciples he saw a great multitude about them and the scribes questioning with them and straightway all the people when they beheld him were greatly amazed and running to him saluted him hebrews 1 3 through 4 who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high being made so much better than the angels as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they ephesians 2 13 through 17 i might have to make i mean i'm going to have to make a second video actually but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for him, he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by, by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations. Wow. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two thus making peace and in one body to reconcile both of them to god through the cross by which he he put to death their hostility he came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near psalm 14 1 through 7 the fool has said in his heart there is no god they are corrupt they have done abominable abominable works there is none that does good the lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek god wow they are all gone aside they are all together become filthy there is none that does good no no not one yep have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and call, and call not upon the lord wow part two coming